Hello there guys, this is Random One from the Yellow Bros. And um I am making a tutorial on how to downgrade the iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, and the iPod Touch 4 Gen. Uh from iOS 6 point and six point oh point one to iOS five point one point one. So basically what you do is you open up you I'll have the download links for Redstone, the IPSWs and Absent in the description. You need the IPSW and Redstone, but Absent is optional because I use it. I think it's easy to if you're gonna jailbreak after, it's easy, it's easy to use that because it is uh it makes it a lot like you don't have to go in DFU mode or anything. So let's get started. So you can open up Redstone. After you extract it and stuff and download it, so you click that on the redstone.exe, and there'll be jailbreak and extras, everything else. Go to extras. Click, you don't need your SHSH bombs either, which is actually really cool. So you click select that PSW, go to desktop, hold it down, and then you put your you select your PSW. Click even more. Click restore. Click IPSW to be restored. And then find that same one again. Okay, and then it's going to have you co uh, connect your device, put it to Pone DFU mode, and then it's going to restore by itself. And do not disconnect your iOS device, iDevice, until it says done, the rest of the process takes place on your iPod. And iTunes may open up. And then, so once that's done, you quit. And then, to generate it, you just open up Absent. When you download it and extract it, it should look like this. You click this. They just wait for this whole process to go by. And then, just wait for it. And then it's about to be done. And then you'll see this folder pop up inside the absent folder. So you'll find another folder that says the exact same thing. Click it. And then don't care for this other stuff. Just click absent.exe. If you're using Windows, I'm not sure about Mac, but if you're using Windows, right click and click run as administrator. Then if you're an administrator, it'll let you in. If you're not, and the administrator has a password, you'll have to put in the password. Click yes, and then just says plug in your iDevice to begin. So just grab your five so iPod Touch 4 Gen right here and my 30 pin cable. So I plugged it in. It says iPod Touch 4 Gen with iOS 5.1.1 detected, and my iPhone box also says that. So six that out, and then, and then just click jailbreak. Mine won't jailbreak because it's already jailbroken. But basically, the whole process that goes by is that it says, um, it says that, you, see, there's my iPod too. It says that you have, a uh, you are, it'll, it'll look as if it's restored to a backup. And that's all. And then once it's done, it really won't restore. It, it will reboot, but it won't restore. And then, that's all for today. Okay.